Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about deploying a H, an advanced HMI project on the industrial floor. Now it sounds like an easy task, but uh, there are a few things to consider before we do this. Um, we're going to discuss hardware and then the software itself. Now under the hardware, um, what we'll look at is uh, there are NEMA ratings you can get and also IP ratings. They're good, but what you what we're going to just generally talk about is um, the hardware that you deploy in the field should match the environment that you expect it to work in. So things to consider are fanless computers that will keep the dust out, uh, monitor the location and type. Do you need a touch screen or not? Um, and then that front face of that uh, monitor does it need to be washed down at all? Also, your keyboard and mouse, are they going to be washable or not? The enclosure, if you're uh, um, in a very dusty environment, will that you need an enclosure to keep that dust out. You also look at UPSs, or uninterrupted power supplies. They will actually serve two purposes for your hardware. The first one being that they will um, shut down the computer when there is no power. Also, it actually keeps your um, power clean, so it takes out the surge and um, it takes out your uh, surges that you see are often in the industrial environment. So it's actually a surge suppressor. And program backup have actually at the hardware the the, the physical um, locations kept in several different locations in order to make sure that you don't lose your program. Also, what's very important is the documentation of the actual hardware you're using as well as the software. Keep a list somewhere. Now, if we look at the actual um, uh, program, then when we look at software, the first thing we want to do when we deploy a, uh, an HMI, advanced HMI project in the field is to turn off the Windows Update. And in order to do that, if you call up your control panel and you'll see Windows Update, we'll go to that and then we'll go to Change Settings. And in here, typically it will say Install Updates Automatically. That's good, it keeps it up to date. But what we want to do uh, when we install this is make sure that we can download them, but let me choose when to install them. That way, you're not in the middle of a production run and the computer decides to do an update. Right. So again, very important, and then you just apply that. The, uh, the next thing that we want to do is security. And on the security, what we want to do is make sure that you set it up as a standard user, and that standard user will automatically um, will automatically log on to Windows um, that you're going to use. So as soon as you power up, it automatically logs on as a standard user. Also, under there, we when it's a brand new computer, the only thing on there for a browser is Internet Explorer. And there's a way of protecting um, the use of the Internet uh, with Internet Explorer. And and that is by creating a supervisor password. When we do this, then you cannot uh, surf the uh, internet until you provide a password. In order to call this up and enter a supervisor password, you go to your run command, you type in this setting, and we hit OK. What we get is our content advisor and we go to the general tab and that's where we hit the create password supervisor password so this password would be needed every time we want to then um, connect to the internet and get the information the next thing that we need to do is then to actually look at the advanced HMI project so we're going to be using the same project we use for creating a login screen in advanced HMI. And if we look at the properties, the first thing we'll change is window state. Now, window state 
um, under properties is tells you what the window is going actually going to be when it first powers up and we can have normal minimize and maximize I would suggest mass maximize so that we fill the entire screen up and the next thing um, I'm going to leave it on normal because I'm not going to use my entire screen to show you some other things that we can do also under the window state uh, or window style we have control box. Now control box will allow you to um, min, max, and close the program. If I just turn that on, you'll see that these icons now appear on my main form. So what we want to usually do is just turn those off so they're not, not there. So we cannot, uh, we want this application to run all the time. So that's why we make them disappear with the maximized. Then it makes it difficult for that program to shut down. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the form is always on top. So we have this most top. This means that when the program runs, it will always be on top of any other window that we have open on this on the screen. And we do this here, but in our uh, situation, what we have is um, we have a also a login screen that has to be on top as well so in that case what we need to do is we need to um, make sure that we write code so that we use the topmost and we ensure that it's always going to be on top so when we call in this situation when we call up our login screen it goes on top first and then when we're done with that login screen it will come off and then we will start again so what we'll do is we'll start this program and when we start it what we'll do is we'll try calling up a, a couple of things so here we go there's our program running and right now we have it on topmost so even if I click on the background to try to bring up my background here it will not this remains in the foreground so that's exactly what that topmost will do if we do the uh, login screen the login screen now becomes the topmost so anything in the background will disappear and I don't see it because um, uh, the login screen is always going to be um, on the topmost window of my application so if we cancel that out again my main form comes back to the front the last thing we want to do is create a icon on our desktop so that if anything does happen we can quickly go back to our application and call it up so we basically just go um, oh we'll have to stop this program get that out of the way stop that okay and what we'll do is we'll go into the um, bin location and we'll call up the actual um, program the exe file which is advanced HMI one and what we'll do is right click on it and we will just say uh, create shortcut and it creates a shortcut for us and we can drag that onto our icon or onto uh, our main screen here and we'll just uh, there we go so now anytime you want to start the program we double click it it will call it up and we're running okay that's it for today if you have any questions um, or comments please visit our website at www.accautomation.ca and in that where that site is you will also find all the documentation for everything we just discussed here with links to it you can also download the program um, if you like this please subscribe to us and give us a like thanks for watching